three posters right here. They are real posters, right? But what if I told you you can attach images, text, and create your own 3D posters if they were real in After Effects as well as in Premiere Pro? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how you turn this to something looking like this. So stay tuned. Trim work to comp area, right? That's what you wanna do. And after you trimmed your work comp and you got the pretty much the around where you want the 3D tracking to begin, this is where the magic happens. This is how you attach text and images to your real world. So right away, what I'm gonna do is I am going to go into the tracker. And all you do is you click track camera. Depending on your PC specs, it's gonna take some time. And what After Effects is doing through its own AI technology, it is trying to track any objects, any type of subject, so it can have and start putting on its 3D tracking points. And this is where most of the work is done. And fast forward, I'll show you what happens after. Once you click track camera on your clip, you will scroll through the footage and you're like, hey, nothing happened. So what you wanna do is you go into your effect panel over here and check render track points. And if you can't see it, there's these little points over here, right? And if they're too small, all you gotta do is raise this percentage up and now you can see these track points. So all I need to do now is I wanna draw roughly where I want my 3D mask or tracking to begin. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna choose the whole poster. So all I need to do is draw all around the poster, right click, and here is where the magic actually happens. So there's a couple options, create text and a camera. Creating a text and a camera, what that does is I'm gonna show you right here, that is a text that is gonna be tracked onto that plane. That text is pretty much locked on to that plane in the poster. Doesn't matter where the camera moves because of the awesome 3D tracking that After Effects already did. So that is how you attach text to like a wall or when someone's moving and wow, the text like it's glued onto the wall. All it is is a 3D camera tracker and it's pretty simple. You can adjust the text, right? The scale right here. You can change the text. You can put whatever text you want. Subscribe, bro, right? That's how you do it. But let's say I don't want text, right? Let's make it even more fancier. So what you want to do is I'm gonna put an image on this instead of a text. So it is gonna get a little complicated here, but bear with me. All you need to do is drag in your photo that you want to pin this to the exact same null. So once you drag that photo in of yourself, make sure your 3D layer is turned on. Next is you wanna go to the parent link and you wanna pick whip this, attach this to the null. Since the null has all the properties of your pinned whatever subject that you just outlined. See, as you can see, it's moving now. But the image is way too big. So you click scale, scale it down, and there you have it. I just attached my own image so it looked like a poster. And of course, you can corner pin it, you can do certain things to make it look a little bit more realistic, but the basics of the, of everything is there. So let me review everything. All you need to do is click on your video, go into your tracker, click track camera. Once Adobe tracks all the points that it needs to figure out, then you go into the actual clip itself and you wanna highlight where you want your 3D camera tracking points, and then you can attach text to it. But I showed you how to do this with the image. If it was a text, super simple. Same thing applies, delete all this, go back to the clip, right? And let's say I wanna attach text right to this, right to this top point. So I'm going to just highlight these right here. Then, I'm going to create text and a camera. So that text is there, double click this layer, put in your text, whatever your heart desires, and then you can change the 3D cabinet tracking points, the X, the Y axis, let's say you wanna change this, you know, but the text layer should already have the exact camera track points that Adobe already is created for you. So if I play back the clip, 
the text looks like it's attached to the wall, right? And final step, if you pretty much do not do this, it will render the 3D camera tracking points. So what you want to do is uncheck this, and Adobe will take away those camera tracking points, but the properties of your text is still there. So press play, and now I have my simple text, which it looks like it is glued onto the wall. It is really that simple. And uh, that, guys, that is how you easily track and attach words, images, text, whatever, to walls or any sort of flat surfaces so you can have that 3D animated text image effect all within After Effects and a little bit of a hack or workaround in Premiere Pro. My name is Peter. If you want to get serious in learning Adobe Premiere, video editing, link is in the description in the comments below where you get a one month free trial so you can have access to all my creator courses to help you become a better content creator. You're watching Broke Vision Collective where we all serve nothing, but you can always create something. See you guys in the next one.